Good evening. Welcome everyone to Tuesday Night Rotor Talk Live, episode 24th, October the 9th, 2018. Everyone is doing well this evening. Um, got a lot of stuff to talk about here. Uh, Rick, welcome. Steve Carpenter, welcome. Chris Hope, welcome. Um, Edward Cahill, welcome. Thank you guys for uh, joining. We got, like I said, we got a lot to talk about tonight. I'm gonna kind of lead in with a couple of stories here. Lloyd, welcome. Um, first thing, let you guys know, um, well, I'm gonna announce the winner tonight, the winner of the filters for the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna come up here in a little bit. Um, and of course, everyone knows what the lead in is tonight. Um, you know, we got Hurricane Michael that we're dealing with here, and I'm going to go ahead and put a put a graphic up on the screen. Uh, Donald Spicer, welcome. Thank you for joining. Lewis, welcome. Andrew, welcome. Peter, welcome. Mike Roche, welcome. Greg Hard, thank you for joining tonight. Glad to see you. Archie, welcome. Joe Goodwin, glad you guys are all here. Um, yeah, we got we got a lot going on here. I'm going to go ahead and start. We're going to go ahead and get, let me get um, the first thing up here on the screen. As you all know, we have, living in the state of Florida has a lot of wonderful advantages. However, one of them is not, <laughs> unfortunately, we have to deal with um, unbelievable weather. And let's go ahead and get this up here. And you can see, um, here's the track for Hurricane Michael. Now you can we live over here in Tampa, um, and Ken Dono, original Dobo, lives in the area too. Um, this storm's pretty much, they've evacuated almost all of the um, coastal counties up in the Panhandle. They've all been evacuated. And uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna make Irma look like a cakewalk. Um, the storm is intensifying, everything I keep hearing um, it's going to come in with a pretty hard impact and then it's supposed to push its way up through Georgia and then maybe hit in the Carolinas. So, um, definitely, uh, keep those folks, um, you know, in your thoughts and prayers. And, um, if you live up in that area and you have an evacuation warning, it's one thing I've learned since I've been living down here in Florida, heed the evacuation warning, get out of there. Don't, don't be a hero. There, there, there's no need to be a hero. When we had Irma, when Irma hit us, it had weakened. And they had also told us the greatest threat that we had was probably um, from wind. And we were, we, we live actually pretty far inland. Um, so, you know, we don't have to worry about the storm sur surge where we live. So, you know, that's, that's one of the things I want to leave in with that. And of course, um, you know, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, um, uh, for our friends from Florida Drone Supply and all the folks there, um, you know, we're going to have, um, you know, they'll, they'll have their um, uh, network of pilots available to help out. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's, I wanted to start out with that. Yeah, that, that's, well, drone shots, welcome. Glad you, glad you joined tonight. Lon Dennard, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, if any of you are friends with me on Facebook, it's been kind of a somber day for me today. Uh, one of, if not one of my best friends from high school, um, passed away last night, um, 60 years old from cancer. So um, his name was Jeff. So um, if you can remember his family and your thoughts and prayers, I'd really appreciate that. Jeff and I were really close in high school and we did a lot of talking. And one of the things we really like to talk about, obviously not drones, but uh, we did like to talk about hockey a lot. And back in the day, the, the Pittsburgh Penguins weren't uh, weren't great. They, they made the playoffs and kind of did cartwheels. And um, he loved the Penguins, had a great family, um, leaves behind a wonderful wife, several children, several grandchildren. So if you guys can remember, remember them in your thoughts and prayers. I'd really appreciate it. That if I had time off available, I would go up uh, to Pittsburgh for the funeral. That's how close I was to him. And definitely going to get a sympathy card and see if I can get in touch with his wife. Um, Jeff, Jeff was, Jeff was a great friend. So, all right. Um, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Um, Red Wings lawn, <laughs> Red Wings. Do they have a hockey team? No, um, just kidding. Um, one of the things that I, I, if you guys remember, I don't know, it's been several months. 
I did a video on DJI Precision Landing yet. Not yet. Haven't heard anything about when there's going to be a firmware update. That's a 10 Fanatic. That's a good question. Um, one of the things I did a video on was parachute drone parachute recovery systems. Um, I'm probably one of the only YouTube channel drone reviewers that had done that. And I looked at three systems, uh, Mars, which uh, uh, the name escapes me, Fruity Shoots, and um, uh, Indemnus with the three. What was really interesting, and it caught my eye, and I posted it at, on um, Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging. Welcome, Brian. Glad to see you here tonight. Um, and it reminds me, I want to mention something after this. And I posted it at, on um, Build a Drone Reviewer, both on the Facebook group and on the Facebook page. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bring that up right now. This actually looks pretty interesting here. Um, see if I can find this here. Oh, I got it here somewhere. So let's see if I can get this up here. All right. Yeah, this is this is it right here. Um, you can tell. Um, uh, emergency parachute systems deployed for DJI Matrice drones. And see here, here, it, here it is on the on the 210. What it, it's spring loaded, and even in the event of a power failure, um, it still will come out. And um, it talks about the system that's on there. Now, uh, the system itself, it is this is something that isn't cheap. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring unmanned system source up here. And it will, I'm trying to remember, because I, yeah, it's 1400 you can, you can get a Havoc 2 Pro for the price of this pretty shoe. The nice thing about this is it is easy to, it's reusable. You don't have to send this back to the manufacturer, which is great. And I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can watch the uh, parachute video that I did. It's actually very interesting. Um, the Mars parachutes, from what I saw um, and in the video, I thought I thought th they did okay. They were mostly for Phantom 4s, Phantom 3s, but I thought they were coming down pretty hard, um, even with the parachute recovery system. Now, um, you know, the one from Fruity Shoots did better. Uh, it did slow them down quite a bit. They had those on Inspires. And the one from Indemnus looked really good. So. You guys get a chance um, go out there and take a look at them. I think those are it, uh, very intriguing. I really, really enjoyed enjoyed see, enjoyed seeing those. Um, I don't know if you guys had a chance to or not. Andrew, welcome. Glad you're here tonight. I've been raining all day here. Yeah, and that's another thing with the hurricane coming. We get now in Tampa for us. We're going to get a ton of rain and um, I mean a absolute total ton of rain down here. It will it will probably start tonight and we'll probably have it through Friday or Saturday. And, um, you know, the thing you need to watch for as along the coast is some, a little bit of storm surge down here. It won't be as bad as what they're going to be getting up in the panhandle. And, and let me tell you, after having uh, rode out our first hurricane last year, it was the first time I had to do that. It's a different experience. Oklahoma drone are welcome. Glad you joined tonight. Um, you know, one of one of the things I, I I can say is, you know, when you have to go through um, when you when you have to go through 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 that, um, that that's just to to me that that's you know that, that's a lot. I mean, it's it's an absolute absolute it, it, it's it's a lot there. So, um, okay. What's next on my list? Talk. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, if you guys get a chance to, um, it looks like our friend, original Dobo, Candano, is going to be having a live stream on Friday. I think it's at eight o'clock, Brian. It, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it, it's and they're going to be talking about what Brian does um, with the Matrice and going out inspecting power lines, and uh, that sounds fantastic. So. Um, putting a plug in for Harry Barbosa. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're we're good down here where we're at, Harry. We're not going to get anything near what like what we got with Irma last year. But thank you, I appreciate that. Um, hey, Bill, you need me to mail you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Steve. It's we are going to get a ton of rain, and that's and that's the big thing is it's what's real interesting here is 
Uh, where we live, it's okay as far as, you know, I won't say okay, but it, it can kind of handle the rain out here. But in downtown Tampa, and there's some parts of the interstate in downtown Tampa, man, it gets, it gets backed up. There's a, there's a main avenue called Kennedy Avenue, and it's one of the real long ones from downtown Tampa out to by the airport. And it floods every single time. There's, the drain system down there is just, it's atrocious. And I don't understand it. You think with a living on, on a coast, in a coastal type of town on a, in a bay, that it would have some type of a better drain system, but it doesn't. So I don't, I don't know why. I, I, I don't understand that. But I, yeah, I mean, there was, I, when we had, there was a hurricane that happened. Um, my actual first one, we actually received some remnants of it, mostly rain, was during the Republican convention. And um, that made it, that made it a nightmare because you're having to deal with traffic with the convention and then you had to get rerouted because of the traffic of the convention and then the rain. And, and there was a lot of streets that were closed because of flooding. So it was just a mm, absolute positive total nightmare. So, um, yeah, I'm going to announce the winner here in just a little bit. Uh, had a lot of people enter. That was fantastic. And, oh, got some good news. I got, um, I got a couple of cases coming to review from free will, I believe. Yes, Friday at A, original Dobo YouTube premiere, getting paid by the mile. That's it, Brian. You guys are going to need to tune into this. This is going to be this is going to be fantastic. And it's going to give you a real good look at what Brian does. And it will be great. You guys will absolutely positively enjoy it. And again, you know, I know on, on Sunday, for those of you that watched, um, I want to thank again Original Dobo um, for gifting the channel with his Sony RX100 camera. Um, next video, it's going to be made with this. I did get a, a new microphone today, so that's fantastic. And again, um, Ken, thank you so much for that. Thank you for this gift to the channel. We really appreciate it, and it, it is definitely going to get put to good good use. That's for sure. I'm I'm very anxious anxious to do that. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about tonight was, you know, and a lot of people um, I wanted to talk about, and, and Brian may be able to chime in a little bit about this too, is this DGI Airworks conference coming up down in Dallas. And if you guys um, were a part of um, part of the show on Sunday, I talked about that a little bit. Um, one of the things that I firmly believe, and if you watch my um, Mavic 2 Enterprise video, that they're gonna, it's gonna come out then. Droneaholic, welcome. Glad you're glad you're here tonight. Um, that the Mavic 2 Enterprise is gonna get it. it it's gonna be announced it, during that event. It, it makes um, incredible sense to do that. Uh, just you know, I, I don't. It's kind of a no-brainer um, because this is geared toward enterprise users, and you know, enterprising mean meaning business and. One of the things that I wanted to make sure people knew, and I've actually had a couple of people inquire, you know, oh, can I buy one of those? Well, no, you probably can't buy one of those because that's going to be for first responders, police, fire, EMS, um, you know, search and rescue, that type of thing, um, you know, government agencies. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have some great features with it. You know, we did see the um, the strobe light on the top, and we did see what, um, and I think Brian talked about it. I think he mentioned it's it's going to be something for like hostage situations for having a loudspeaker up there. So that's going to be tremendous, being able to get a voice up there and be able to to negotiate a little bit. So that's that's very interesting. So that's that, and that's coming up there. Now this Airworks conference is going to be great. I wish I could go. Like I said, you know. I exhausted my my last of my vacation time for the see the bigger picture event, so that's that's gone for the rest of the year. Um, wish I had wish I had some more, but I don't. Not until January first. So, um, oh well. But uh, yeah, I, I would like to go to that because this is going to be great. It's going to be great for Brian to get down there, and he'll be able to network not only with other pilots, uh, but probably with other you know other you know shops there uh, and it will be great it'll be great for him it'd be great for it would be great for me to go down there too i think that would be a great experience to be able to talk to talk to some other pilots down there to talk to some other organizations down there and dji puts on a first class event and 
Um, I see that being nothing but a first class event down there. So, and I don't think anything else other than, other than them. Um, oh, Gary, friends who evacuated early in June don't want to go, go back now. Yeah, that, that's, that's probably, Gary, I, yeah, you know, it's, that's kind of hard. I want to take Ken and film it. Um, you know, I, Brian, like I said, uh, if I had vacation time, I'd be going with you. Because um, I, I just think it's it's just absolutely going to be fantastic down there, and the people that you'll be able to talk to, and I think you know they do have they do have little workshops and seminars and things which are great, and you do get to learn some of the things. But I think one of the things one of my big takeaways from when we went to the event, um, Lloyd, thank you so much. Appreciate appreciate your coming on on tonight. Um, have a have a great rest of your evening, and tell your missus we said hi. Um, it went well, Lon. It went well. I'm still kind of recovering, still kind of sore up here, and still on antibiotics for that, and taking some um, ibuprofen for pain now. But um, getting better, a little better each day. It's it's sore for about a week afterwards. So um, when is it? This um, oh, Airworks down. It's down in Dallas. It's October 30th to November the first down in Dallas, um, and I would definitely go. One of the things, and, 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 I, and I think Brian will probably agree with me once he, you know, when you go to events like this, the great thing, you know, the workshops are great, the seminars are great, but the best part about it is being able to network with other people down there. Um, you know, that's one of the great things that I enjoyed so much was when we went to see the bigger picture event, got to meet other drone reviewers. I mean, I got to meet Kelly from Ready, Set Drone for the first time, got to meet Ed Ricker. And that that was great. And got to meet some other people. Got to meet um, the presenter, Michael um, Oldenburg. It was great talking to him for a few minutes. Got to meet a couple other people from DJI. And like I said, they put on a great event there. It's absolutely fantastic. It's totally first class. It was just very, very, very impressive. And, and, and I see that being the same thing. So, um, you know, as far as that's concerned. Now, you know, there's been everybody, I've gotten a lot of comments on my um, Phantom 5 video. And when, when's it coming out? And, you know, I'm, uh, get, I'm getting, that's the question I'm getting asked. Uh, unbelievable. Um, you know, rumor has it that they're going to have two models. They're going to have an advanced and a pro, kind of like Phantom 4. I mean, it's, and the, the pro is going to have, pro is going to be waterproof. Uh, it's also going to, um, you know, have the interchangeable lens system. And I did get a comment. Um, uh, I, I did get, not a comment, but I did get some more inside information on that. And I'm going to be putting out another video on that this week. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, you know, I, I, it's, it sounds very interesting. Now, whether or not this is going to come out, um, at this point, this point in time in the year, it is getting kind of late. Um, you know, I had said, and I think other people had said, and I know Rick Smith um, had said too, um, that's audio and photography. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Appreciate that. Um, a lot of people had said, you know, and, and Rick Smith said, you know, it would be late third quarter, early fourth quarter. Well, you know, we're, 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 we're there, okay? Um, you know, we're, we're knocking on, you know, we're, we're in that fourth quarter right now. So, um, you know, and I think it was, I, I'm trying to remember who, I think it was Ron Brown. He had mentioned, you know, he said something, you know, if they don't have an event before Black Friday, it's not coming out this year. And, and I have a tendency, I tend to agree with him. I agree. Um, Benito, welcome. Thank you for joining tonight. You, um, we're doing quite well here. Um so that's what I think is going to happen there. I, I mean, you know, Ron's right. If, if they don't have it before, you know, Black Friday, then they're probably not going to have it. So that would mean probably second week of November if they're going to have something like that. But then again, the talk has also gone to the point of, you know, they want to focus on getting um, Mavic 2 sales going for both the Pro and the Zoom. Um, so who knows? I mean, you know, you know, there's nothing on the FCC grant ID database. There's nothing from DJI on, on a release date or, or anything on that. Of course, you know, the biggest news that we had recently was the Mavic 2 Enterprise. And we all know um, when that's going to come on. Um, Kluge, welcome. Thank you, David, for, for, for stopping in for a few minutes. Um, 
So yeah, I, I don't know at this point. It's kind of it's kind of up in the air. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, in time for Christmas season. I mean, it just for me, I think it would be fantastic for them to come out with that. Yeah, they may announce an event can cancel again, Chris. You're right. They could very easily do that. You know, I, I'm not. You know, I'm. I'm I, I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't know. Um, you know, and. I actually got some some more information. Like I said, I'm going to be sharing that in another video coming up this week um, about that. So, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're going to have the have the giveaway announcer announcement soon. So, um, hope everybody is. I'm going. To, I need to have a drum roll. I need to have get some kind of a drum roll here. Best information I have. DJ responded. Pick of the fee five was enterprise for a customer. Mavic 2 Enterprise, they don't want to lose sales on the M2 right now. You're probably right, Brian. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're we're going to probably see that coming up um, probably first quarter next year. Um, I, I think you're right. I think they want to want to keep that. Um, you know, and <laughs> Bill Thomas, Coast to Coast Drones, how are you, Kim? Welcome. Thank you for joining. Any hot gossip? Not yet, unfortunately um walker uav welcome yeah drum roll that drum roll's coming up we're gonna we're gonna do that here sooner rather than later um one of the things that's real interesting is um i've heard that there's been a lot of activity regarding the phantom 4 pro uh, v2.0 and their sales have been going very well for that that's why i, I heard some information or, uh, about that and you know what that kind of doesn't surprise me i mean our buddy Cliff, if, if you're watching tonight, hi Cliff. I didn't I didn't see you on, but if you're on, I'm, I'm just gonna say hi to you. Um, you know, had talked about what a great drone that was because he I, I believe that's the drone that he has. And and I told him I said during that broadcast I said you're probably gonna gonna help DJI out with some sales here. And everything I'm hearing from from people that I'm talking to, um, do you think that DJI will re release a racing drone, Brent? We'll talk about that here in a minute. I had that question on Sunday. That's a good question. Um, so, yeah, the sales have been going well for that. So, you know, uh, Brian, you're probably right. Um, I, I, I'm if if they're going to do anything, it, they probably would have done it by now. And I think they want to work. I think a couple of things they want to focus on. One, they want to focus on you know, getting out a great software update for the Mavic Two. Um, you know, precision landing included and a, and a lot of other things. Whether or not this hits the camera issue, mm, you know, I, I don't I don't know about that. Um, you know, I don't know if, if they can tweak it a little bit. They're probably working on that right now for the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, you know, if a firmware update can, can, can do this. But from talking with Cliff, kind of sounds like probably not. It's probably not physically the, the camera size is probably not physically big enough to handle this. You know, Cliff's the absolute total expert on that. Let me tell you, and I'm going to have you guys absolutely love him. I'm definitely going to have him on again. He's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I absolutely love talking to Cliff. Um, one of the things, one of the things that we anybody knows lately, um, YouTube audio lagging. Chris, no, I don't, haven't haven't heard anything about that but um i know i know with youtube getting with, with some of my streams things have um things have, have looked you know until it, it takes a while to get it. it's take it's been taking longer for the actual once i the one one of these finishes to get out and to become an official video it's taken a little bit longer for that so okay good bill that's good that's good to know um yeah, like I said, one of the other things that I keep hearing too is, uh, you know, um, you know, people have said people, people, I, I'm getting a lot of questions, and believe this or not, and we talked about this a little bit on Sunday. I, I have several Facebook groups. Um, I have one on the, I have a couple on the Spark, um, have a couple on the Mavic, um, have one on the Parrot and Afi, um, also have one on the Mavic Air, a couple on the Mavic Air. The number one group that I have, and I get probably 20 to 25 people a day on that, is the Spark. That is increasing in popularity here. 
Um, Rich, gl glad you're here. Um, you were in Remote Pilot 101, working on your 107. Way to go, my friend. That sounds great. Um, you know, so, um, and we talked about this on Sunday. And, you know, and, and I talked to Rick Smith, and Rick firmly believes that there will be a spark too. Um, and I and I have a tendency to agree with him because one of the things, if you guys remember, Sally French did an article and it was based on registration with Kitty Hawk because DJI doesn't release their sales figures. And what she did was DJI or drones that are registered with Kitty Hawk and the number one was the Mavic Pro. Um, the Phantom 4 was up there, then the Spark, then the Mavic Air and so forth. I mean, Unique was probably the first non-DJI drone that was actually actually up on there. Ted 10, 10, welcome. Um, so, you know, as far, as far as that's concerned. But I'm really thinking that Rick's right. I think we're gonna see a Spark 2. You know, what we'll see on the Spark 2, I don't know. But I think one of the things that is so attractive about it, they just have to tweak it a little bit. I mean, there, there's not much that they need to do. You know, I know, you know, they got the OTG cable, but you know, if there's any way that they could tr possibly try to get OcuSync inside there, because that transmission system is golden. Um, having it um, in the Mavic 2 Pro, it is absolutely, positively fantastic. Um, you know, I, I think that I think that's great. Um, you know, that's one thing, and then obviously getting a 4K camera in there. But I think one of the things is to tweak it, but not that much, and to keep that price point down, because I'm thinking, you know. Like I said, I get anywhere from 25 to maybe 30 or more people joining that group each day. Um, people absolutely love the Spark. They love the portability of that. And, um, you know, my next biggest group, believe it or not, with people joining it right now, in terms of people, new people signing on, it's actually kind of neck and neck. The Ma I have a Mavic 2 group, and then I have a Mavic Air group, and they're kind of neck and neck um, each day, getting people joining those. Yeah. Um, Mike Rush, you gave your spark to a guy who just got me into droning. Too many drones and batteries to keep up with. <laughs> Outlets in the house are full. That's pretty good, Mike. Yeah, that's, you know, and a spark has that incredible charging system. Uh, I know some of you guys had that. I know Mel showed, showed me his um, when we got to tour his truck. That is an absolute, you know, DJI hit a home run with that accessory. I'll tell you that, um, you know, so. I can see them doing that. I, I can really see them doing that. You know, and the other thing, you know, people say, well, no, they can't, they've come out with a Mavic Air. Well, you know, you know, the Mavic Air has, it's fantastic. It's portable, um, you know, it's 4K, you know, a couple of things, a lot of people, and number one, you know, it's that, that transmission system in there. They, they need to upgrade that to OcuSync. Um, if the Spark could be, 18 minutes would be element affordable drone. You're right, Oklahoma droner. I agree. I, it's it, the the affordability of that makes that an incredible drone. And I know I have a there's a coworker who um, has a Spark and absolutely loves it for what it does. Um, yeah. You know, and one of the things, um, and Bill Thomas, if you're on, you know, one of the things he puts out some incredible still pictures from the Spark. I think that just it, 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 it takes incredible still pictures. I absolutely love that. The, the video is good. It's not, you know, it's it, it's not Mavic Air or Mavic Pro or Mavic 2 worthy, but that video is good. But but the still pictures from the Spark are just incredible. And I see a lot of them every day out on the groups. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking we're gonna see we're gonna see a Spark next year. We're gonna see a second edition of the Spark. I wish they would probably come out with with some way and i know brian talked about it um you know it's the escs and the propellers um the noise factor on the mavic air it's just oh you know it's it sounds like 10 hornets nest at once um you know i talked to ian jones my friend over in um uk and he had a mavic air he loved it but he had to he had to sell it because the noise just drove him nuts i mean absolutely okay it's 8 30. Who's ready for me to announce the winner? Can I see some? Yes. Come on, guys. Are you ready? Ready to know who the winner is?
Me? Okay. All right, Rich. All right. I'm going to go ahead and reveal the winner here. Now I had to I had to roll it a couple of times. I have an automa I have a comment picker that it actually goes through there. Had to roll it a couple of times because the first two that I picked weren't subscribers. I just I felt bad. I mean, you know, it's but you know the rules rules are DDA Ohio. How do you register? It's unfortunately it's it's too late for this one up. And I am going to be having another another giveaway coming up real shortly here. So let's go ahead and do the share and then let's get this up here and the winner is nick hey congratulations nick uh if you're on tonight um let me know and if you're watching the broadcast right now um congratulations i need for you to send me your contact information send me an email to build a drone reviewer at gmail.com with your name and address and i will get this out to you in the mail um, as soon as possible. So again, congratulations to Nick Hay. Nick is the winner of the four pack of Freewell um, filters for the Mavic 2 Pro. So congratulations, Nick. I hope you absolutely enjoy them and, and you should. They are, it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you to everybody who entered. Got a fantastic amount of people who entered this. Um, really, really, that, that, that's fantastic. We're gonna have another one coming up here. So, um, so stay tuned. Um, one will definitely be in the works. One of the other things that we're checking out, I'm checking into um, a couple of places to have our next fly in, and Valerie and I are probably going to go scouting them out. Um, ah, Droneaholic, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but we're scouting out a couple of places for our next fly in. Um, Brian gave me a great recommendation. We're going to scout that out. I'm going to make a few phone calls and see what we can do here. Um, you know, I, I want to try to get something in, you know, it's a little closer towards, you know, going a little bit more towards Orlando because I know we have a lot of folks over in that, in that area. We had a fantastic turnout. Um, Ken and Billy's um, flying uh, over at the tower. It, it, it was great and absolutely positively I had such a great time there. Can't say enough. Absolutely can't say enough about it. That was, that was fantastic. Everybody had a great time. Yeah, only twenty. Steve Carpenter, you're right. Everybody hit that like button. Come on, guys. We got fifty-eight people watching tonight. This is just we need more likes there. That's for sure. Thomas O'Sullivan, welcome. Thank you for joining tonight. Um, congrats. Yeah, everybody, congratulate Nick. Um, I don't know if he's on tonight or not. Um, but I'm very happy for him. And, you know, like I said, the first two people I picked, they weren't subscribers. And I was just like, oh, I felt, I felt bad. I felt really bad because I've seen them on before, but they're not subscribers. So, I mean, and again, the rules are real simple. It's like subscribe, comment, and like, I mean, that's, that's all, that's all you have to do. It's, it's not easy. Um, anyone see the tweet? There's a gas powered drone that was created in Japan. No, Harry, I did not see that. I did not, was not out on Twitter that much today. Um, it's been kind of a hard day for me today, unfortunately. Uh, for those of you that joined late, uh, one of my best friends from high school passed away from cancer today. So it was kind of a, kind of a rough day and, um, it was rough at work going, going through that. I found that out, um, uh, pretty much after I got to work today and it was just a real downer hit if I had had if I had vacation time I'd be going up north for the for the for the services that's how that's how close he was to me so um anyway um you know one of the other things that I think we're waiting on um and somebody just asked uh, somebody else had just asked that question DJI getting into racing drones you know that's a very good question you know obviously DJI wants to make money um you know, and that's a segment that's just exploding. Um, as far as that's concerned, it got it. Ed Ricker is definitely into it. And I think believe he has a second channel just devoted to um, drone racing. So that's, that's fantastic. And I did see there's a county here and I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, it's, it's by us. And I don't know, Brian, I don't know, you may have seen it or Ken Dono, if you're on it, you may have seen it too. There's a county by us that where they've done, designated a park that's a drone park. 
and I'm trying to remember the name of it, and I can't remember. I saw an article on that yesterday. If I can find that, I think I might have posted it out on the group. I'm not sure. Um, but it, but it is exclusive. I think it's mostly for drone racing, not just for drones. So um, that's all they really showed on there. So I don't I don't know about that. But uh, Ed Ricker, thank you for joining tonight, Mr. Racing Drones himself. How are you, my friend? Thank you for joining tonight, Ed Ricker in the house tonight, guys. That's doesn't get any better than Ed. Ed's fantastic. Ed, great, great to see, great to see you here. Thank you, thank you for joining. I'm just talking about racing drones. Ed, do you think that D – here's a question. Here's a great question for you, Ed, that you're on. Do you think DJI is going to start making racing drones? Um, you know, that's uh, – that is a great question. Um, that, that is an absolute great question. Um, you know, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, Ed. Do you think they are? Just take on ND filters. Which one you – know, love your racing drone video, Ed. Yes, that is fantastic. Um, you know, I think they will. I'm not sure when. And DJ has so much in the pipeline right now. As far as, um, you know, things coming up, you know, they have the Mavic 2 Enterprises going to come up, and then early next year we'll probably see the Phantom 5. Uh, they may have already something like that out. I can't find the name of it. Okay, Ed, um, that's possible. Um, you know, there, there, may be, there may be things out at, you know, Ed would Ed would know about that that kind of information. Um, you know, DJI has her hands in, in every piece of the pie here. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about tonight, um, and Ed, your last video was great. Enjoyed it. Thank you very much. That that that, that was that was fantastic. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about tonight, CES 2019. They have a racing edition for their goggles. Okay, okay. Um, CES 2019 is coming up in Las Vegas in January, and that's that's pretty much right around the corner. And um, I met with Ken Dono on Sunday, and he he's he's going to it. Um, I think Billy Kyle's going to go to it. I know Rick Smith is going to it. I'm actually contemplating going to it as well. Um, you know, there there's going to be so much that goes on there. And if you're if you're a, a, a tech nerd, if you're a, a techno geek kind of person it's the kind of it's it's definitely one of the places to go um you know one of the things that i think is definitely going to happen there it's not drone related but i think samsung is going to announce their s10 it, that that's one of the things um hubson xeno video no but um i heard a lot about that and i'm very anxious to see that um that that sounds that sounds like a great drone better with a drone um that's one of the things i, I want to say i know uh, bill thomas had it on coast to coast um Oh, Steve Carpenter, that'd be great. Um, you know, I'm really seriously giving it some thought um, to go out there. One of the things, though, is I need a sponsor, and you know, I know um, Ken has a sponsor, so that's how he was able to to get out there. So I'm 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 gonna work I'm gonna work on that and may go out there this year. I think that would be that would be a good good trip out there. I know you know DJI will be out there, and there's other you know, and I talked to Rick Smith. There are a lot of other drone manufacturers out there, some ones you haven't even heard of um, that are out there. Obviously, you know, the big one, DJ is going to be there. Unique's going to be there. Autel will be there. Um, it'll be great to see, you know, great to get a chance to have someone on one time and, and talk with them. Of course, you know, they'll probably be pretty tight-lipped, but maybe you can get some information out of them. Um, yeah, Richard, yes, you do have to be in the business. Well, you know, I, I, do, have, I do have some contacts in the business. So I'm hopeful of, of maybe um, using that to see if maybe I can get, um, you know, be, be able to get a pass to, to get in there. Um, uh, Derek Wood, that's a good, that's a good question. Now I'm, I'm glad I had that down and I don't, I, why I forgot that. Um, that was going to be part of my um, DJI Airwork stuff. But CES 2019, I think that's going to be something that's going to be very noteworthy. I think it's, if you can get a chance to go out there, I would definitely go out there. Um, Harry, DJ got back to me about the hidden micro USB port on the charging hub. Yeah, it's for firmware updates for the batteries to update all at once in the future. That that's going to be great, Harry. That's going to be fantastic. Um, you know, and I think one of the things, and if you watch Rick Smith's last video, um, that charging brick won't. They'll have to come out with another charging brick for that. Um, 
to be able to do that because it's not powerful enough. It doesn't put out uh, enough watts. Rick's electrical engineer kind of guy, so he knows that kind of stuff. But um, Woody, thank you for Derek Woody. Thank you for asking that. Or Wood, I'm sorry, I probably bought Woody. Um, one of the other things that I think DJI may announce at the um, Airworks conference down in Dallas is the all-in-one remote for the for the Mavic 2, meaning having having the screen built in to that. And I think they showed some shots. And if you watch the um, at the see the bigger picture event. Um, they had the gentleman and a, his name escapes me who went up to Greenland and did all that filming. Well, they showed some stills and some close-ups in the boat on the way over there. And, and with those there, um, Oh, Ed Ricker, thank you for that. That's, that, that's, that's good. That's good to know. So DJ, obviously they are there. They're not just, they're not really talking about it a lot though. Um, I think they're going to come out with that at the DJI Airworks conference coming up in Dallas. I think they're going to come out with that. However, I do think it's going to be real pricey. I think we're looking, probably going to push, you know, the, the remote itself, I think is around $300. Um, I would be guessing we're probably going to look, be looking at about $500 for that, that all in one, but that's going to be real interesting. You know, for me, you know, I, I need a bigger screen size. The iPad mini four, is absolutely perfect for me. And thank you, Ed Ricker, because it was one of your videos that I watched that uh, that's why I ended up getting an iPad mini four for, for my, my Mavic Pro. And I haven't looked back since it's been, it's absolutely fantastic for flying. I uh, can't thank you enough for that video. That was a great video, Ed. So thank you for that. Um, yeah, it, it'll be awesome, but it, it uh, Derek, you're right, but it is going to be pricey. Like I said, it's probably going to be running about five or six, 500 probably 600 dollars for that so you know i know everybody's going to be like excited to see it come out and then everybody's going to look at the price and say oh they're going to exhale so you know hopefully you know that would that would be a great accompaniment to the mavic too i'm i'm really i'm really seeing that but yeah ces 2019 is coming up and you know and, and i see that as being um a great opportunity to go out and be able to talk to other drone manufacturers to catch what's going on. Um, you know, my thoughts are, you know, um, it, it's they're gonna there's gonna be a lot of good people to talk to out there. So it would definitely be worth worth your while to get out there if you can. See Carpenter, I'm glad you'll be going out there. I uh, wonder happened to the DJI remote watch idea. Our friend of Cedar Love had posted ways back. DJI trash that they may have Harry. Um, cause I have not seen Heidner hair of that at all. Nothing. It's actually, actually, yeah. Yeah. Lon, yeah. It, yeah. With the hood, it's fine. And, and if you're in the shade here in Florida, it's all, also, also fine. And guys, I want to call your attention and I don't think, I don't think Ken's on tonight, but his last video he did, he did one on the cooling pad for the iPad. And I'll tell you what, that's a home run video. I mean, you need to watch that. I mean, it's just, it is absolutely positively fantastic. Um, DDA Ohio, thank you for that tip. Uh, that's a, um, haven't, I've, I've, I've heard, I've heard of, I've heard of the, the company before, but not that, not that tablet. That's good. I assume that's probably, that's obviously an Android type of tablet. So, but now that cooling pad video that original Dobo did, you guys need to watch that. that. That is absolutely fantastic. Dale, it's actually, we're starting to get some rain now. Uh, it's getting real cloudy. You know, we get that, you know, when you when you see the, the, the spin of the hurricane and it's producing clouds and it pushes them and it's pushing a lot of stuff our way and we're going to get a lot of rain. Um, my, my guess is probably through Friday or Saturday, it'll, it'll just be kind of like nonstop rain. So um, my sentence with high bright crystal sky is amazing. Hopefully something good for Mavic 2 on the horizon. Yeah, I'm hoping so, Brian. I, 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 I would really hope hope so because, you know, with that bright nits in there, especially for you, you need that, especially when you're out in the field um, working down here in Florida with the, with the sun the way it is. So um, it's like 1K for the cooling pad, I think. No, it's actually, it was $199, Thomas, um, from what Ken said. I mean, even for $199, it is kind of pricey, but um, they reached out to Ken because, Ken did a video and um, where his iPad shut down on him and he was flying his Phantom 4. I think it was Phantom 4 and it, his iPad shut down on him. 
you know, I had the same thing happen to me. My iPad shut down on me, but fortunately, you know, I was in landing mode, so I was, I was good to go. I didn't, I, I was fine, but boy, that sucker, it really heated up. And uh, his video was fantastic. You guys absolutely need to watch that. Yes, I am <laughs> looking at oral surgery next month myself. Want to be recovering Thanksgiving. Um, I'll tell you better with a drum. You know, it's not, you know, it's like my, my fifth one I've had. I've had five teeth removed since I've been down to Florida. I don't know what the deal with that is. I, um, I, I have a hunch. I think I have a dry mouth and I need to get biotine to help, to help with that. But, uh, you know, I'm at the point I gotta, I gotta worry about what kind of foods I eat so I don't break my teeth. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Um, plus, yeah. $200 plus cost of iPad equals. Yeah. You're, you're right, Lon. That's, that's good. But that, that cooling pad is absolutely fantastic and it, and it works great. And it holds just the iPad only, not an iPad with a case, but want, definitely watch that, that video. Um, gotta get, gotta get a soft. You're probably, you're probably right. <laughs> They're better with a drone. It, 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 it I, and, and one of the things that I do is I learned over the past couple of years, I've not been drinking tap water at all. I've been drinking filtered water. So I, I think that's kind of slowed things down a little bit as far as as far as that's concerned. Um, yeah, that larger crystal sky is expensive, Thomas. It really is. It's expensive here too. iPad crashes all the time running. DJI Go 4 app. Uh, DDA Ohio. Um, you know, one of the things that I learned with with that, and this is this is a tip. If you guys, you know, whether or not you know you're running either um, you know Android or or Apple. Um, only app that I have running at any point, you know, when I'm flying is a DJI Go 4 app. I shut every other app down. You know, that's a, that's a definite, that's a definite must when you do that. And, and if you can, you know, you know, I know for me, I, I use my iPad, you know, at other times and for other functions as well. Um, you know, if you can dedicate that tablet just to the DJI Go 4 app, that's all the better and helps that helps that from preventing. So. Hopefully that's a that's a tip for you. I don't know if that just tape a two ninety nine ice pack on the back. <laughs> no, I love that, Harry. That's great. That's abs that's absolutely great. I know. I think Ken Ken had originally uh, talked about doing that too, but X not reached out to him and, and sent that to him to try out, and um, he actually showed it to me when we met on Sunday. That is that's fun. and it runs on it runs on AA batteries and it works fantastic. Well, they developed it for private pilots. Uh, so because private pilots are very dependent upon iPads for a lot of information and they, that's the last thing they need is for that to overheat on them while they're flying. And um, you got to watch Ken's video. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil it to you, but it is absolutely fantastic. Just flying Mav 2 Pro Samsung S7 Edge app kept disconnecting pretty annoying. Possibly the cable not to solve this yet. Um, Carl, I, you know, one of the things, you know, I, I'm very leery about running Android with that. I, I do have that on my um, on my S um, not S8. I have, my, I have it on my Note 8 in an emergency. I've used them before. You know, if my iPad runs out of juice or something's going funky with it, you know, and, and it will work. But I like the lot. You know, for me, um, you know, I, I the Apple operating system is much more friendly with DJI. It, it just it's just the way it's absolutely been. Only app I have on the iPad mini is DJI. That's why I bought the, okay. Yeah, see, and that's really, that's really funny, DDA Ohio. I have to realize what Go4 is actually um, doing your iPad. That's why things happen. Drone therapy, Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging. Did I see something on your page about a crash? Hmm. No day it was worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the iPad Mini has has been has worked very well for me. So you know that's one of the things that, that I can definitely say. I really haven't had had a whole lot uh, of issues with that. So oh, we had a software crash. Okay, all right, Brian. Um, we're kind of wrapping things up here. Um, want to want to kind of give you guys a clue. Um, there's going to be a new show that. Um, Bill Thomas is coming on. I'm going to be, I'm going to be on it and Ron Brown's going to be on it. And I, we're coming at, it's going to be on the 17th. So you guys watch out for that. I'm going to, going to put a, uh, you know, once Bill gets a, I think Bill has a promo out for it. So 
I'm definitely going to promote that on the channel. That's going to be that's going to be great. And you guys got to see Bill's graphics for this. It is just fantastic. I absolutely, positively loved his graphics. Bill, two thumb, two thumbs way up on those graphics, my friend. That was just that that the. Bill Thomas does some of the best graphics. He just, uh, I, I, yeah, absolutely, positively fantastic. So um, definitely be watching out for that. I got a couple of videos coming up this week. Um, got another one on the Phantom 5, believe it or not. Um, going to go out, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much flying I'm going to get in the next few days with the way it's, way the weather's going to be. So, um so who knows about that but i'm definitely going to get that new camera up and running i did get my new microphone it came today yay that's absolutely going to be great um so i should have some crystal clear audio to go with that as well um i'm looking for that so um you know a couple of things here you know guys like i said um if you're up near the panhandle and you have have end up having an evacuation order get out don't mess around um you know the more you delay the worse it gets in terms of traffic and getting out of there. Um, gas up, get your get extreme valuables, extreme papers that you need. Absolutely, just the absolute important stuff, and get out of Dodge. Um, you know, messing around with Hurricane, it's nothing to mess around with. It really, seriously. Um, you know, that's one of the things we were fortunate that we didn't have a direct hit last year, but um, you know, they they have had to evacuate before. So, um, just for that. Um, and thank you guys for remembering um, my friend. His name was Jeff. If you can remember his family and your thoughts and prayers, um, you know, it's a great loss for them. It's a loss for me as well. Jeff was a great friend. We communicated quite a bit on Facebook. And he had actually wanted to, uh, next time that Valerie and I were in town to meet up, and um, it, just, it, just, it just breaks my heart for him, for his family. Like I said, I've got a couple of great videos coming up this week. Got one on the Phantom 5. Hopefully, I, I'm going to have one on the on the Mavic too. I want to get out and do some flying on that. So, um, hopefully, going to do that. Um, definitely want to check out Bill Thomas's show on the 17th. That's going to be fantastic. We're looking for that. Um, it could be Peter. That's not. That sounds fantastic. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining tonight. Appreciate it. Um, like to see 56 likes on there if you guys could. That's great. And Nick Hay, again, congratulations for winning uh, the filters. Um, do drop me an email, um, you know, and just to let you know, uh, there is a 48 hour period. If I don't hear from you, Nick, and receive your information in 48 hours, I am going to draw somebody else's name and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get that information out there. But um, Nick, congratulations again. And, um, you know, 48 hours, you know, I do need to get that information. Otherwise, I'll draw another name for that. So, um, Rick, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for, for, for showing up tonight. I appreciate that. Um, had a lot of great talk. Um, Sunday was great. Tonight was great. Um, great people here. Mike, thank you for, thank you for showing up tonight. As always, Steve Carpenter, Rick Halbert, thank you guys so much for, for being fantastic moderators. Bill Thomas as well. I know Lloyd was on. I had, have Lloyd as a moderator as well. Uh, and Oklahoma Droner as well. You guys did great. Appreciate all your work. Um, thank you so much. And don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. I, I really appreciate that, guys. Have a great rest of your evening. Have a great week. Um, you know, say some thoughts and prayers for those folks up in the Panhandle and and hopefully in you know in Georgia and the Carolinas that this thing kind of dies down before it hits them. But it's everything I see. I see it's going to be kind of nasty. So thanks so much, guys. Have a great rest of your evening. And remember, it's a great day to fly.